hope your dolls hear you, Nat. Thanks, April. This is the best idea for a club play date. You know, me and my daddy went to the toy store yesterday. And he just bought me the latest Princess Sweetheart doll. It's the one with the sparkly dress and it talks. Oh boy! Now Lucy Confetti will have a new friend to play with. I'm so excited to see her. I'll go and get her. I left her in my room to keep her safe. Be right back. To your stupid questions. Jerrica! What did you do to my doll? Tell me right now! Oh, I just decided to give your little dolly a little makeover. What did you do to my doll, you witch? Oh, nothing really. All I did was stole it from your room, cut all of her hair out, undressed her, Ripped off her head and threw the body inside the toilet. You did what? <gasps> Jerrica, what have you done? Now my doll is all broken. Why, Jerrica? Why? Why did you do that? Daddy just brought me that doll yesterday. Oh, don't even think that I actually did it on purpose, because I did. And do you want to know why? What? Why did you do that? And what did I do to make you do that? You don't remember sneaking into my bedroom and snooping into my diary yesterday, and then you scribbled all over the cover of it? I have proof of it right here. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? And don't even try to deny it, because I know that you're the only one who likes to sneak into my room a lot. Well, of course I read your stupid diary. I was bored and I didn't have anything to do. And besides, it was a really boring diary anyway. I never understood what you meant when you said, I wish I was an only child. You probably want to move out of the house or something. I will move out too, so I won't have to deal with a mean, ugly witch like you. And also, you should thank me for making your diary more pretty with my drawings. Or should I say, ugly? Ha ha, very funny. Well, you won't be laughing once I flush your doll down the toilet. No, Jericho, no! Watch me. No! No! Princess Sweetheart! <laughs> Jerrica H. Silverman, you've really done it this time. I can't believe that you flushed my new doll down the toilet! And I didn't get the chance to show it to my friends! When I tell Daddy about what you did, you'll be sorry! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, tell on me. See if I care. You're nothing but a whiny little snitch anyway. <laughs> so much? 
Well, boo-hoo! Next time, stay out of my room, you little pest! <laughs> That's it! I have had enough of you always being me to me! And just for that, I'm going to do something really, really bad to you! Ooh, I'm so scared. What are you going to do to me, huh? Nothing. You're not going to do anything to me. Oh, yeah? Watch me! I wonder what's taking Harry and Nett so long. Yeah, I was hoping to see her new doll by now. What was that? It sounded a lot like Harry and Nett's mean older sister, Jerrica. Which means... Oh no, Jerrica is about to do something bad to Harry and Nett again. Little Sisters Club, onward! <gasps> Harry and Nett, Tia Silverstein! I can't believe you cut half of my hair! I hate you so much! Serves you right! Now shut up and sit on that stool that's in front of you! I'm not finished with you yet! Harry and Nett, what are you doing cutting your sister's hair like that? Oh, hi, girls! I'm just giving Jerrica a little haircut. Now, where were we? But wait. Huh? Why are you giving Jerrica a haircut? And why is she almost bald? Well, girls, remember when I said that I was going to show you my new doll? Well, when I went upstairs to my room to find her, she wasn't there. I looked everywhere for her until I finally found her broken in pieces. All thanks to this stupid witch right here who has decided that it will be a great idea to sneak into my room, steal my doll, cut off her hair out, and flush it down the toilet right in front of me. <sighs> Oh, yes, she did. Mmm. Yep. She really did her dirty. <gasps> she... She... She did rip her head off. And look! Her sparkly dress and her crown and shoes all left alone. Why, Jerrica? How could you do such a terrible thing to an innocent little doll? Yeah, Jerrica. You better tell my friends exactly why you did it. And what if I don't? Then I'll tell Daddy instead. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll tell them. Yes, I did destroy her stupid doll. And she deserved it. She was reading my diary and scribbled all over the cover. I told her a million times to stay out of my room, but she never listened. So I took revenge. If she ever tries to touch my stuff again, I'm going to do the same thing to her other dolls. And that goes to every single one of you little brats too. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sorry at all. She should pay for what she did. Oh. Wow, she really is scary. I don't want her to destroy Lucy Confetti, or Sassy Sally, or Pretty Polly, or... No need to worry, Ella. She won't be destroying any more dolls. Not when we're around. Here you met. 
Do you have any more scissors we can use? Why, of course. They're in the drawer over there. I found them. Good job, Simone. Now everyone grab one. Come on, girls. Let's all help Harry and Nat give her meanie big sister the scissors treatment. As soon as we cut all of her hair, she'll be completely bald. This will truly teach her a lesson on not to mess with our friend. Little Sisters Club! <laughs>